Yeah. Welcome to a beautiful Wednesday. And uh, we are back on Axe Pro. Axe Pro, we are coming to uh, solve all your thoughts provoking questions yeah, and arguments. You understand? Uh, the pandits are seated. And uh, let's zoom straight to action. Uh, Scanty, Agogo, and the king, the Ajo. Hey, why well, who cut your hair for you? Uh, Charles, my baba. You go figure give him a shout out, maybe see. Because yeah. this haircut, they look like Johnny Bravo. Shout out to my baba. His name is Gaza. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. He's from Gaza. He's from Gaza. Yeah, man. Oh, so I said, just want to talk. Okay. be like, I talk. Uh, it be like your man will go bed out this weekend. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then we go cut the hair. Deep sauce. <laughs> Deep sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that's going. This, <laughs> this was here from David Einstein. Uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> we transfer some power with your phone. Where we go? We got haircuts. Why are you don't watch me? Oh no, me, I don't get anything. Uh, <laughs> they say no go bed house. Uh, guys, mm. let's move straight to action. And uh, this is from uh, For Reals, Brian Ajay 3942. Between Enzo Maresca and Anne Slot, who do you think will succeed this season? Who do you think will succeed this season? That'll be the personal question. Mm -hmm. hey. Okay, I, I want to start before people will say, say, the pandas choose E and I'm going B. So this time I had to start. <laughs> go yeah. Z. Yeah. yeah. So me, I will go for Anslot. Yeah. Okay. Ahead of Enzo Maresca because I think the the structure D at the Liverpool side, they just need a new coach yeah. with a DM and then they are good to go. Liverpool don't need much. But Chelsea, right from even defense to attack to board and everything, there are a lot of changes. So the coach coming in is now coming to assemble a new mm -hmm. first eleven. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, if you go to Liverpool, they have the materials. Okay. They just need one or two signings and with the coach, and then they are good to go. <clears throat> but for Chelsea, the coach coming in to come and coach Chelsea uh, from Leicester, he came from the championship. The materials he have, the players they are signing, who they have to upload, offload, and who they have to keep. It's going to be a major problem for um, Chelsea because I'm sure the first season for Chelsea, there wouldn't be pressure on the Chelsea coach. But the first season for Anslot, there will be pressure on him because he's supposed to deliver okay. with the materials. Okay. Uh, go, go. Liverpool, because Andy, players-wise, you, you need to check both teams. And with Liverpool, they have a good a good goalkeeper. But Chelsea you now have a good keeper. They are now looking for a, a goalkeeper. goalkeeper yeah. So it, yeah. I, I think Liverpool will be ahead of Chelsea. Okay. Yeah. The king. Uh, yeah, I, I watched my SKS press conference this dawn and he spoke well. I think he's ready for the job, so it'll be cool. If you get recruitment right, yeah, you will do all this. Is, and look at the two of them. They've not been impressive in the summer window. Okay. Liverpool, zero signings. Chelsea, the U23 signings and players that we literally don't know that we've signed, apart from uh, GSB Hall. So they've both not had a good window yet. So... But if you look at the two coaches, I mean, Slot has experience okay. from a top, top. I mean, every this is better yeah, than the championship. Yeah, yeah. So he's yeah. cool. You, you want to dispute that? Oh, do you want to dispute? Every this is in the second tier. <laughs> the championship be. Every this is a top, like a top tier league in some of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, second division. So yeah, he, he's from where he has won. I mean, top trophies, Ibab. So yeah. uh, I can't pinpoint someone to do better. But let's see what they do in the, in the summer window because they've both been poor in the in the window so far. Okay. Okay. But Ajo, mm. the championship be difficult past there. But you can't okay. compare a tier two to a tier a, a main league yeah. of someone's main league. league. Okay. So I don't okay. think we should even have that. Company. Okay. Uh, so, hey, what, Daniel? Oh, do you have anything to say? Oh no. <laughs> oh, no, the, the, sure. the fans can also. No, no. So, yeah. bring so to you, championship number. is better than the I'm, area. I've not said anything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's move to Ewa Daniel. And uh, he says, in this current European football, which striker perfectly replaces Benzema's style of play? Which uh -huh. striker perfectly replaces Benzema's style of play? That's a very good question. He was a ball playing number nine, mm -hmm. central forward. If I look across Europe, I can mention two players that uh, can, they, 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 almost it's all known, mm -hmm. but they can replicate what he did with Madrid okay. and, uh, and Lyon. So Alvarez one, Jackson two. They mm -hmm. are ball playing strikers. If you look at Benzema's career, he was a bad finisher before he got to his peak prime. Yeah. Prime and peak, two different things before he got to his, his prime. Yeah. So um, I'll go for Alvarez, and a ball Jackson. playing uh, striker, but he's direct. Jackson has a little bit of skills and flair, but he's a bad finisher. So that's where he has to improve before he can even get close to 
Alvarez. Okay. So yeah, the two of them. So Andy, as for me, I'm going for Zexy. Zexy. Yeah, Manchester okay. New sign is Zexy. <laughs> He's a complete striker with his height. It's complete. He can, yeah, complete striker with his height. But it's not good at finishing like that. So complete striker, you have to be good at finishing. Oh, as time goes on, you be complete. We should give him time. So yeah. you get He's the a young, young chap. So we should give him time. And Alvarez too. Alvarez. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good question. Though. Um, for me, I'm not seeing anyone yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing anyone <laughs> like the Benzema type of striker because the strikers I've seen now are mostly left-footed Ibrahimovic type of striker. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not yeah. seeing a Benzema. Even the Alvarez self, I'm not, not seeing. Really, uh, taking players. He's not really. Him. I'm not seeing Alvarez number nine, like number ten, double ten most of the yeah. time. So for me, not, not no nobody okay. yet. Yeah, nobody yet. Okay. Uh, let's move to the next question. That's from Kojidan. So JK, he says, uh, can you predict any new tactical innovations we should expect this coming season? Any new tactical? Uh, let me start with you. Uh, the calf license coach. <laughs> uh, that's the king, the Ajo. Um, just keep an eye on what you see. What um, the England coach do for the US? Yeah, Let, letting the left back hug the line. In the opposition um, half, let's say, look sure. What yeah. was he doing when they advance? He's very high, hugging uh, the line. Yeah. Then Saka will be what playing so that he's making runs. Okay. So if somebody go do that, might be Pep. You go make Gavardio after build up, run straight to the opposition, opposition in, yeah. in half, yeah. hug the line and wait for balls. But it be rare. They go do the inverting too, similar style. But very true. for a left back, let's say after build up, he go move go that side, hug the line, then wait. Spread the middle. You Babu say the double eight go feet penetrate through the middle now. Then the right the right winger go just do the dribbling yeah, and coming yeah. now. So the left back hugging the line is what I can see um top coaches doing, but they're more the invest now. So maybe it could be plan B, give them but Pep go do them often with Cavaldi or so. Okay. Let's see how you go go. Yeah, we should expect something new from Ten Hag. Mm. A fully fit Martinez. We should expect something because I watch Manchester United against Rangers and I saw something different. So with the incoming of Martinez, a fully fit Martinez, and let's see whether Manchester United can sign the lead. Ten Hag will likely switch to the three back system. So mm. yeah, yeah. With okay. me, I'm looking for it. That's that's Hag. bold. Yeah. That's bold. Unai Emery's Aston Villa, they will be coming in with a very new thing. Looking at the signings that they are putting in, mm -hmm. the players they want to target. I'm sure some tactical masterclass will come from Unai, Unai Emery yeah. this season ahead of the other the other clubs. I'm seeing him to do so well this season because of the plan His and the kind of players the, then he yeah. wants. He they go play Champions League as well. Speaking of Unai, he likes to create a box in the midfield after his first phase of the up. And now he get Unai to do him better. If it were Unai technically then, um, this guy, I forgot what his name is. No, 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 the other guy, the, the guy from Scotland. Ah, uh, McGee. McGee, McGee. 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 Yeah. McGee. He's more technical team. than McGee. So he go, and he go advance the box row more than uh, McGee go do. So he go help him. Uh, let's go to Walanyo. He says, uh, to the three my United fans there, and this can see <laughs> in Agogo, are they honestly content with their transfer so far this season? Or this summer? Considering them playing Europa this season, and who do they think should be added to the team? Are we content? Add me. Uh, with me, I'm not really happy with our new signings because we don't have Varane. Mm -hmm. And as we are talking now, Euro is the perfect, according to Manchester United board, mm -hmm. Euro is the perfect replacement for what? Varane. But Andy, let me tell you this. Eh? If you expect an 18 years boy to come and sell in the EPL as a central, like uh, as a, a central center, yeah. defender, Charlie, you are being unprecedented because you should expect more pressure with the attackers. You yeah. should export more pressure. And I, I don't think the guy is really mature enough, enough to, yeah. let's say, start in the APL. That's why I'm saying the Manchester United need maybe delete yeah. or a top centre-back to come and help Martinez. Okay. Uh, uh, <clears throat> not to be controversial, but I disagree with Agogo. The age thing is not an excuse. By EPL, I'm, coming. Okay. I'm coming. The delete guy that you want mm -hmm. them to sign, he was excelling at the age of 18 yeah. on UCL big yeah. stage. Yeah. Kobe Menu was excelling at big stage. 
Lami Yamao, one of the biggest international competition heroes, mm-hmm. was excelling. But Adagula okay, was mm-hmm. excelling. Mm-hmm. So if you are talking about age being a problem, we have seen people who are very young and then they have come in and then they are making a difference. You don't need to say maybe the age, so he's not matured. I can bet you that Kobe Menu looks more matured on the pitch than someone who is even 25 that is playing as a metro. Yeah. Can I counter what Scanty oh, said? Scanty, attacking player, it'd be yeah. different from, let's say, a centre-back player. All right. If you're an attacker, age don't really matter. All right. You can do everything, starting from the midfield field. But if you're a defender, pressure-wise, you... So I've given you an example as Matthias Delit. He was 18 at the UCL big stage. What and was the excuse in for In which Delete? country? Eh? He was no, he was no, no, and the biggest, the biggest club in England, mm-hmm. <laughs> United mm-hmm. or Liverpool. If you are playing for United at 18, it is pressure. Pressure. Mm-hmm. He's coming from abroad. You know, the academy boy, you. Yeah. He's coming from somewhere. He's come to play. Natural pressure is there. That was where coaching and stand coach comes in to calm the pressure on him. He's a good boy, a good potential. But there's pressure. So I agree with that, Google. Yeah. Oh yeah, then the pressure did. No, no matter what, even against yeah, pressure would it. Even if it's it, it, it was both for sixty Australia. plus yeah. million, it is pressure. Yeah. We all sat here and um, went hard on Kaisedo. Pressure money, it is pressure. So if pressure come on the boy, yeah, it be normal. And coaches go make him better. I, I never so. said pressure wouldn't come. I'm saying okay. the age shouldn't be, be a, problem. a problem. It should be because a problem even because if it's not thirty years. Casemiro, who is an experienced player, said there was pressure on him. Anybody pressure will catch him. Mm-hmm. The age shouldn't be a problem because pressure, whether you are 35 or even if you are 16 and we sign you, there will still be pressure. So we shouldn't be using the age as an excuse. Pressure, they surely will come and he's going to deliver. Let's see how it goes. But really, I'm not happy with the transfer market for United so far mm-hmm. because the players they are signing, Zexi <laughs> is not a player that me, Scanty, I'll trust. Yeah. I don't know if Zexi is an upgrade but of my land. trust issues. Eh? You get trust issues. No, I don't know. It's, okay, I'm asking you. Is Zexi an upgrade on Hoyland? Yeah, do you think Zexi is... Okay, do you think Zexi is better than Hoyland? Yeah, to some, some qualities, yeah. All right. But depends on... Okay, make a comment. Depends we, on what Ten Hag they want to do plus. No, but let's... let's. If Ten Hag will focus on possessive games, yeah. he will get the best out of no, Zexi. But let's take the players as Hoyland, Zexi. To you, who is better? Just these two oh, players. Zexi, Zexi is yeah, better yeah, than yeah, yeah. Okay. You offer more... Than or than offer you in okay. terms of ball playing, yeah. Okay, uh, let's move to uh, the Liverpool fans. Uh, then Vex, wow, this is from Nana Kwame, one stance Liverpool fan. And he says, What are Liverpool doing in the transfer window? Because we make slow, wow, Charlie. This thing for talk about now, they make slow, wow. Pro, there we go see them fast, and the some other people will money, talk bro. about they don't have money. No, 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 hey, hey. Uh, I think they have Who money. They have money? Why you be auditor? Oh, they don't have money. Bro. Why do you so can they I have money? They are not even chasing any player. That means they don't have money. <laughs> they are chasing players. If you read <laughs> Liverpool's, let's say they are transfer records from last season, they will go in for loan before they can, let's say, sign a player. From last season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mention one. Oh. Oh, mention one. Because Starting last from, season is almost like 70. Uh-huh. So mention the loan with options to buy that. Started from last two seasons. Uh-huh. Last two seasons, Nunes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hundred million, was signing, no? yeah, hundred yeah. million plus. Yeah, so they signed him. It was not loaned with options. Yeah, I will go. I, the uh, Colombian guy, uh, yeah, Diaz, Diaz, Diaz signing. Oh. I've not seen Liverpool do that. So much. I was only player with and go take loan uh-huh. by him. So yeah, let's, let's yeah, yeah, yeah. So only player with and take loan go by. So no, currently, you know, they don't have money. Your last, <laughs> your last player you, that you signed, you went in for the loan. So currently, you don't have money. Okay, for me, I feel like money day, Andy, but Edwards will come in. Mm-hmm. The money sporting director, he did like academy projects. Yeah. So the target centre back from Lisbon, I know Mary Lassie, Papa. Bab, but he did like say, you see, he did way them um bring Arnold on board, mm-hmm. Robertson on board from Hall City and Co. Yeah. So he likes to inculcate academy boys more. So they're not gonna spend plenty, but they'll bring in the academy boys. Then they have good academy players. Mm-hmm. Then buy one from Chelsea recently, Ringa. Yeah, okay. So they like to bring in academy boys. That'd be why maybe they're not gonna spend plenty. So the money they did, they get money, but maybe they're not gonna spend plenty. Okay. That'd be all. You have an issue. I, I don't know who people want to Liverpool to sign because I feel like they have a lot of options mm-hmm. when it comes to the football of hey. at, the, at the right, if you go to the attack, we have Luis Diaz, we have Gapo. If you go to the left, we have Salah, we have Elliot. If you come to number nine, we have um, this guy. Nunes. 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 Yeah. If you come to even the... the okay, the midfield is where... Yeah, they, 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 they need the centre back. They need yeah. the left they, back too. The left no, back. They, are okay. they have to make us in uh, Robertson. Uh, Robertson. They, are, yeah. they, are, they are okay for that. So. They have to they make us... They need the centre back. They, they have Van Dijk, uh, Kunate, Gomez. 
Oh, but not the injury problem. Injury problem. They, they need a center back. back. Then the right back. They have an old. They have so a Even guy that Gomez came in. can play as a. They have a guy that came in. A the young guy. Oh, yes, the young guy. guy. He was very very Bradley. good. Bradley. Bradley. Yeah. Bradley. Yeah. Bradley. Yeah. They, they yeah. have so like Bradley. just academy boys. That's yeah. The they thing. have have Elliot and they have one other guy. Bradley. Yeah. Very, very Jones. Good. Yeah. Then they signed some guy from Bayern. Graving. Yeah. Graving. Graving. Even Endo. Endo can help them. But they still need. Yeah. They still need it. I mean, I feel so sly. I feel so the problem with FSG, they don't have money. Like right. the truth is, then they mm. were going to buy Bordeaux, but they're not even buy Bordeaux safe, you understand? They, they won't know they. And then Klopp was saving their ass because he was mm. winning trophies with, with this one boys yeah. against Chelsea, you understand? Now against these big teams. So Klopp he left, you know, I don't know. He really go expose them. But let's go uh, go to the next question. And it's not no get poo. Poo. Ah, you know get poo. Yeah. So if okay. the coach, you don't get poo. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Not, yeah, see, they are not looking for any big names. They have the That's best sporting director in England right now. Mm-hmm. So it'll be factor careful. Okay. Transfer. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, let's move to uh, Wala 21. He says, Chelsea were interested in Victor Osime at some point. Victor Osime at some point. What changed now? Is it that the board is now interested in the ideologies of the coach? If so, why didn't they just stick with Poch regardless of his attempt to have a say in the transfers? They have, they have signed Aphrodisius now. Some <laughs> They have some. <laughs> Oh, the sauce is no sauce. So they have they have <laughs> Viagra. Oh, they have Viagra. They have Viagra. They have Viagra. They have spray. People say it's Viagra. 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 They change some to one. They make us so close with problems. Okay. Osi very is least close with problems. Yeah. But Chelsea say that they target their young guys. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. But they release clause. They yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't release understand clause. why the Osimeni agent sits down and agree a release clause. Release, of one yeah, yeah, that too, is too yeah. much. Too much. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. You know that he's, he's not too worth much. that price. Charlie. And then you sit down and take 120 million. Well, mm-hmm. Chelsea mm-hmm. fan now. Answer. And the best uh, profile idea for go for Bizeski. Then he just shoot like Zeg Z. Yeah. Hey. Like Enzo in style, dropping deep uh-huh. to come and play with the midfielders. Then make their wings. They see Tenzo in style. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay, the okay. scout pass. Uh, the coach to come in there for United. So, like, they for going for the Zeg Z. Yeah. But you see, that's why he dropped the Ozimin interest. Because Ozimin will be like the fox in the box. He wants to wait for Wingers to cross the ball for him to, mm-hmm. want, to pounce on it. But he wants a ball playing yeah. uh, number nine. He has that in Jackson. So, that's why they don't go for Ozimin again. The money to be issued. The wages he won't take be too big. So, that's why they don't go for Ozimin again, Andy. Okay. Uh, I don't want to talk so on okay. to my man. yeah. You know, Osime and the NS County, sake of your man, they come up from Africa. Mm-hmm. That'd be why they know they won't pay that money. If Haaland... They release clause. They release clause. Then they see I'm saying Last one. Thing, I'm, 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 one. You think, African Cup day okay. inside. Yeah. Then go need down, no, then your man no day. Okay. Yeah, all the counts. Yeah, that, that, all the counts. No, but... Do you think Osimen is worth the 120 million with the release clause? Oh, the boy won the gold. Yeah, yeah. Went. But do you know Haaland was not paid, uh, signed at that price? That one, yeah. Dortmund way, them are negotiations. No, they're not really at um because Haaland go fit bam 150. Yeah, yeah. And uh-huh. I'm telling you that Haaland, who was a hot kick at that time, was signed for 76 million or so. Napoli should be ready to negotiate, even if it is 80, 90 million, fine. But one, let me give you an example. The uh, Portugal guy. Jao yeah, Neves. Yeah, yeah. Benfica mm-hmm. said 120 million, but now they are negotiating for 80 million. Yeah. But if you are sticking, for, let's It'd be like, for racism. Napoli wants to negotiate. Any now. racism, uh, aha. That's what I'm talking about. No, they want to negotiate now. Uh, now. I, I yeah, talked for years yeah, 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 last week. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they said, said the release clause, PSG is not ready to pay for the release clause. So the deal is on store now. It means that the price we uh, Napoli they call for, they want you to pay the release clause. But it is not possible. You know, for African name, you know, they understand my point, but. Tell them that they should be open to negotiate. 120 million for Simen. Not only them are owner. As of last week, last week not only them are president. <laughs> when now PSG pull out. So yeah. want to no, but the report I saw yeah. was that PSG is not willing to pay the release clause. Mm. Meaning that they no, are no, no. The be, the even Fabrizio can't now they yeah. won't negotiate. Yeah. Yeah. 85 million. Now PSG pull out of the deal. Because and we don't know. Know. no, they pull out because of the money. Uh, uh, Maybe the Napoli wages, has. the wages, the wages. Oh, the come on, right? It's a factor. Osime wants to leave. I'm not sure he, he wants to leave, but the wages, the demand, no, on to so. But your Felix no score even ten right plus goals. Omo Tonai, Felix, Jao Felix, he was a prospect. One of the prospects is Jao Felix was a prospect. So are you a prospect? Me? Yes, I'm a prospect. Okay, for KSS. Jao Felix was. Mbappe was a prospect. Let's move on. Okay. Talk top. Five strikers 
currently. Uh, Osimen go daylight like Ted. True. Hey, and let's top five on. strikers. Striker. Osimen go talk daylight like okay, Ted. Uh, Haaland uh, Wagen. Uh, yeah, let's move on to. <laughs> let's move on to. No, no, we the learn. We the learn, please. Okay. We the learn. In terms of what? Our goal scoring ability. <laughs> no, no, no. If you are because if, if you are you sit here numbers. Then, if you sit they here, always then, say I'll go go and numbers. But numbers. If you sit here, and then, somebody will go king. Oh no, 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 no. Because if you take Haaland out, we have a, a hurricane who is also um, at hurricane. Why are we forgetting? Top five. Now? No, no. Top five. You go there. You go there way. Oh, no. You go there way. Earlier you said Ted. That what he said. He go this it. Yeah. Ah, okay. So after Halan, Halan, Harry Kane, we'll see you. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. no, no. You see? No, no. You see? You see? I said top five. I'm so Ted, can you go film That's why like, earlier I asked you, say, maybe if we are talking about maybe overall as a football footballer or we are using last season performance because if we are talking last about last season self, your man scored 15 goals do you know if we are using last season performance uh, Osimen will be like number 9 or number 15 I'm uh, uh, this guy from guy be scored 40 goals for uh, sporting uh, uh, no no uh, 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 your Chris your Chris your Chris <laughs> oh some guy from league. Eh? Portuguese league no you there was 40 your fan is say one goal be a two was 20 goals Osimen scored 20 no but about half con eh about half con one month half con over here oh uh, guys let's move to the next one say one goal see 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 half con say one goal Okay, I'm sorry. They say me cannot talk the mic thing again. But when you are, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, A.B. Copson, uh, who is a better passer of the ball, KDB or Paul Pogba? Paul Pogba. Maybe. Okay. Now I want to be answering fast before you tell me I'm the devil's advocate. Kevin, you no argument. Okay. Paul, I'll be Pogba, maybe. <laughs> Move on. Uh, we don't go waste time for that. And this is a very, very interesting question. This is from Roger Pia uh, from London. He says, hey, wait, all jokes aside, complete me for that. Paul Kuba is better than. Oh, is here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> you don't want to support me by the fear. So, why do people not respect Spurs? Even though they have won two Europa Leagues and Arsenal haven't. I saw this question. I started laughing. Not so for us at the Champions League guy. Two. We are better than Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Let's go on. <laughs> Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. <laughs> but Andy, I, I feel like in, in question, he won't make, make me know say why I don't know winning trophies now. The mentality be very low. Okay. Coaches come there and run away. They don't want to improve their mentality. And some players today, they're waiting. They know for him. They're yeah. for him. Yeah. Still get Emerson Royal for there. What is he doing there? <laughs> One of the worst players I've seen in this current generation. West Brazilians. Yes. Eden yeah. Anthony. So they should, like, oh. they, if we bring players, we then go grow, like, they mature. Yeah. Then some mature players this season. Uh, Just one. Just from one. Leeds. Uh, I'm not bringing in players yeah, yeah, with yeah. experience. So they are crying for experience. Then they need stress. Yes. A balance. Your captain be strong. Sorry. You are a stand captain. No, no. You don't get experience. So they lack experience. That okay. they but, uh, like they, they quite have some good players in there. But the mentality is very low. Because if like look at that for Sa, mm -hmm. Sa no get ma no mature enough. Yeah. If, Bisuma, Bisuma no mature enough. Mm -hmm. If you look at even the attack, Kulusevski, I think he won the league before he came. Or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, he's good. Richarlison, very good winner. Um, Son, Son, one of them. Even yeah. Harry Kane. If you look at all the big teams. Tottenham has produced like players for people to mm. go and then they go. Even their captain, uh, the, the defensive, Romero will be like, okay. at least but a if very you good. see, as a team, the winning was not yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, okay. I think uh, Tottenham, Chelsea. Tottenham have gave winning mentality past Chelsea's current first 11. Yeah, but okay. forget Chelsea and let's talk about Tottenham right now. No? They have to win something. In the past uh, five years, I'm on JFC, yeah. yeah, five yeah, years, since 2008, I'm on JFC. So, so, try yeah, to, we have to try and win something. Arsenal, no, we Champions League. You say you win what? Uh, Europa, Europa League two. two. So, you better pass Arsenal. No. Uh, mm. So, make them go back. Okay, so let's finish with uh, Son of August. He says, let's move to comparisons again. Ricardo Kaka and Wesley Schneider, who is a better AM, number 10. Oh, Kaka. Is it because he won a Ballon d'Or? Jay the Ballon d'Or, oh. make we just watch the players. Oh, Kaka, bro. Kaka. Kaka is better than Schneider. Okay. Why are you looking kaka, at me? Kaka, kaka, kaka. You are looking at me. Why? No, the question just shocked me. That mm. it did shock you. Yeah. 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 People, people, people will ask questions. Maybe it did do arguments. Like we know for Adam. We know for Adam. We for Ivan from the question since I. Ah, we know for Adam. We for yeah, Ivan. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, it be it be, it be kaka, but the gap no be that big. Okay. Yeah, 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 the gap yeah. no be big at all. When because Schneider, I think 
underrated in a way because people don't really mention yeah. in him because if you look at the gap, think he should, if we are mentioning their time, the attacking midfielders and Kaobo Kaka, Fabregas, yeah. Ozil, you know really Schneider, yeah, he go pick for Inter, yeah, he Madrid pick later in, yeah, in, yeah, career. in that career. That's why that the that Inter why. side today, you know, twenty ten time. Yeah. Yeah. Go, the yeah. diamond formation very complicated. Kaka playing with ease, yeah. Hard fun with Jonathan Ancelotti. Yeah, he 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 Champion, bring that. Brazilian uh, Schneider Diamond. did same under um, Mourinho. Mourinho. Diamond but, formation. Was, yeah. it, was it Diamond? Was it Diamond? Uh, was it Diamond? He, no, he, no, he. I'm telling you that he played mm. also in oh, okay, the position. Okay. 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 Diamond. Similar to Diamond. Now say me me coach him now coach now. All is attacking me for No, no, no. No, if I go to the team and the coach is not playing, instructions be different. So you make a demand now counter Diamond. No, he said he played the diamond very well. <laughs> then we can argue that maybe Schneider could ball diamond and on okay. But there's no instance like that. In his 4 3 3, he also what played. What was Schneider's position? Schneider is a number 10. Number 10, yeah. He's a typical like number 10. Box to box number box 10. Box to box number 10 type of player. Was a box to box number 10? Yes. Mm. If you push Schneider for 8, Kaka for who could play better? Oh, Schneider. 8. Wow. Oh, Schneider. Kaka was a natural 8 more than even a 10. I'm telling you. Kaka. Right. Not Diamond right. necessary. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure. Say, let me go and see him. He played it before. Diamond, no. Diamond, but he will go there and come. He won't be, he won't be stagnant. Okay. Okay. Uh, guys, yeah, so... Ah, yeah. okay. So, uh, <laughs> so we move. leave it in the comment section for you guys. Uh, yeah, let's finish with Lenfire, uh, the best money sending app on the market. Uh, nine Afri- African countries and also Ghana. Send money from UK and Canada. Dingo. Promo code. Dingo. Promo code. <laughs>